Welcome to our lecture online and now we're ready to do an example. Now we're not going to actually calculate the rate of the reaction. You can see that the rate continuously changes as the reaction takes place. You can see that the reaction here is much faster, a little bit slower, a little bit slower, because it's a function of that slope, right? The, the, the smaller the slope, the slower the reaction, the steeper the slope, the, the faster the reaction. And it's definitely a function of the concentration of the reactants. As the concentration diminishes, as the reactants are being used up, the rate of the reaction slows down. So when we're talking about the reaction rate, usually we talk about the rate at a particular moment in time, because a little bit later, it's going to change. So let's say that we're at some point in our reaction and the rate for the nitrogen gas in the reaction is 0.45 moles per liter per second. Here's the reaction we're talking about. It's ammonia mixed with oxygen forming nitrogen gas and water. Now also notice that the, we are consuming 4 moles of, of ammonia, 3 moles of oxygen gas to produce 2 moles of nitrogen gas and 6 moles of water. So if we know what the rate is for one of the, in this case, products, can we find the reaction rate for the two reactants and for the other product? And yes, we can. It's simply going to be a ratio of the number of moles that are being consumed and the number of moles that are being produced. So let me show you the example. So for ammonia right here, we can say that the rate for ammonia, NH3, is going to be equal to the ratio 4 moles to 2 moles. So it would be 4 divided by 2 times the rate for the nitrogen gas. So it would be times the rate for N2. And so in this case, we can then say that this is equal to 4 divided by 2, or 2 times the rate for nitrogen gas, which in this case is 0 0.45 moles per liter times seconds. So that would mean that this is equal to, and I really don't have to put this in square brackets, I can put that in parentheses because we're not talking about the concentration in this case, right? And so 2 times this, that would be equal to 0 0.90 moles per liter per second. So that's how we calculate the rate for the other products and the other reactants. Okay, now we want to know the rate for oxygen gas. So the rate for the oxygen gas is equal to, again, we use the ratio. We need 3 moles of this to produce 2 moles of that, so it's going to be 3 over 2 times the rate of the nitrogen gas. So in this case, it's going to be equal to 3 over 2 times 0 0.45 moles per liter times seconds. Of course, what's 3.5 times 0.45? Well, that is equal to 0 0.675 moles per liter times seconds. Let me quickly see that. That's 22 and a half added to that. Yep, that's correct. And now finally, to find the uh, reaction rate for the water. So rate for H2O is equal to, again, the ratio is we're going to produce 6 moles of water while we produce 2 moles of nitrogen. So the ratio is 6 to 2 times the rate of the nitrogen gas. So in this case, it's going to be 3 times 0 0.45 moles per liter times seconds. And so three times that, that would be 1.35 moles per liter times seconds. So you see, that's fairly straightforward. It's simply a ratio. If you know the rate for one, you can easily calculate the rate for the others, for the reactants and for the other product. Now, what happens when that changes? Let's say that we let a little bit more time elapse. Now the rate for the nitrogen gas will be different but proportionally the rate for the other reactants and the other product will change in the same way. So if we go further in time and this now goes to half the rate it was before, then of course all of these will also change by half. So you can see that whatever the rate is for one and whatever the rate is for the others, there'll be a certain ratio between those rates and that ratio never changes during the reaction. And so that's an important thing to remember when we can keep going on this, on this topic and then start looking at some of the laws involved in the reaction rates.